Hoorah! David Gracia from Slasher Mini Films here. How are you guys today? Um, I have a really weird thing to show you, but, um, it will actually be after this video. Um, right now, though, I have something classic to show you. Something I unfortunately didn't get to experience in my childhood. But I do now, because I went to my local Stephanie Brandon Play and Trade and got on. The Super Game Boy for the... I'm sorry about the flicker and the... It's the computer screen. The Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo. The Super Game Boy is actually an adapter cartridge for the Nintendo Super Nintendo Entertainment System. As well as the or Super Famicom in Japan. The Super Game Boy allows game cartridges designed for the, or for the use on the Game Boy to be played on a TV display using the SNES slash Super Famicom controllers. I'm getting this off of Wikipedia. When it was released in 1994, seemed kind of late to a lot of people, it was released for about 50 or 60 bucks. 60 mainly. That's $10 more than an actual Game Boy game you're spending on this thing. But, um, it's also $10 more than regular SNES games at the time. But, you know, I mean, it was well worth it. It is the predecessor to the... to its successor, the Game Boy Player for the Nintendo GameCube, which actually played not only Game Boy and Game Boy Colors like this piece of wonderful, wonderful amazingness played. I also played Game Boy Advance games, but that's besides the point. I didn't have one of these when I got my SNES recently. But, everybody... The new member of my Super Nintendo family, the Super Game Boy! <sighs> you look at the wonderful, amazing stuff here. It has a Game Boy port here. And, and even with the Game Boy slot, it still holds true to being an original SNES cartridge. Except on the back sticker, you know, it just has a little bit more on it, you know? But what I love about this is it not only says 1994 Nintendo, but it also says 1989, almost as if acknowledging the Game Boy's existence. Now, now you see, I feel that they could have actually forgotten the Game Boy and released this all by itself. And I think it would have been well worth Nintendo's while. I think they could have released just this thing under the name, just, just a Nintendo Game Boy. $60 cartridge, you just play different games on it. But, you know, I mean, I, I, this stuff doesn't usually sit right with me, because when the Game Boy Player came out, my grandma got me one with my GameCube. And at this point, I had a library of about 30 Game Boy games, 30 Game Boy Advance games, and it, it, it just didn't sit right with me, because of the fact that there was too many, there was too many buttons on the GameCube controller to accustom to the Game Boy, as opposed to the Super NES that had two extra buttons the L and R. Otherwise, it was, it was, oh, and X and Y, but it didn't, it didn't have all of the bunch of buttons the GameCube had. It was easier and less complicated to play. And that is what I liked about the Super Game Boy. Um, I got mine at my Stefano Brandon Plan Trade for two, no, three bucks, not even, two dollars and sixty-nine cents. And, I mean, the condition it's in is amazing. These go for about $30 on eBay. But if you have a playing trade near you, man, you need yourself a Super Game Boy. Go there and look for one. They're actually not bad. You can get one for quite cheap. So, David Grisha from Slusher Mini Films here. See you guys later.